Today's video scammer set up to steal $5,000 in crypto and they almost had it. Imagine thinking that you stole $5,000 from someone and right before your eyes, someone takes it back. That's what we did to these guys. What led up to this was a phone call with this scam call center. Thank you for calling PayPal. You're speaking with Tyler. How may I help you? They are running a PayPal scam with paid ads on Google search, catching innocent people trying to contact the real PayPal support. What you're going to be seeing is me accessing the scammer system so that I can download and delete their files. In this file, you can see the scammer's attendance with names, some of their victims, and even the various scams that they run. Now, deleting their files slows down the scammers just a little bit, but I do think there's real power in being able to download the files. I've been able to access things like victim lists and proactively reach out to these victims and make sure that they haven't been scammed or if they have been scammed, help them out. Now, I am going to play some of the call as well as call some of the victims. However, I did not run across the victims that had the $5,000 in crypto stolen from them just yet. There's an order confirmation. I don't believe that was me. Could you please uh, turn on your uh, desktop for me and type in any desk. Click on download now on the bottom where it uh, says adidas.exe. Click okay, on it. I let me do that. Can you see a nine-digit numeric number? That's just a code. Uh, please do let me know that code. So you so see my screen? I can I can see it. This is my this is my cursor. Go to your Google. I'm on the Google. So now I've just now initiated a dollar refund. We need to check whether did you receive one dollar from PayPal. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, the the bank account which is linked with your PayPal to that. Okay, uh, type in your bank's name and uh, bank login and then check whether did you receive one dollar from PayPal. Enter your detail and you don't need to, you don't need to tell me because it's M. confidential Swanson. detail which will be there. Don't, don't spell it ma'am, don't spell it. I just, uh, I just uh, want you to follow a few steps. That is, please do not any online transaction. Taylor, your internet is very, or something is messed up. Could you call me back from a better line, Taylor? Okay, I'm calling you back. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, he's calling me from a text now. Yeah, hi, ma'am. This is Tyler from PayPal. Please grab a pen and paper. I'll give you my employee ID. Okay. All right, I'm going to say he has an employee ID. I'm going, I can see his screen right now. I'm going to say the exact ID and tell him. Okay, well, let me... It's not PPL... Six eight two. What is correct. it? T Y. P P L six eight two zero T Y. Okay. All right. Perfect. So did uh, earlier uh, did I give that password to you? I have a special set of skills. I'm psychotic. Or uh, uh, what is it? Psychic. Uh, okay. <laughs> now uh, what we need to do is, as I told you earlier, someone was trying to purchase a crypto okay. so what we'll do we'll go ahead and set up a dummy account on the server so that in future if they will try to view your banking detail they will only see that dummy detail which we have put it on the server over there type in crypto.com that is i'll spell it for you crypto.com what can you what see? is all this my preferred location you need to click on united states hello so that is the reason now you need to understand that, uh, Why'd you disconnect? Hey, I want to let you know that I already have the information that I need. I have your entire list. Well, you don't have the list anymore, by the way. I have your uh, dialer that you're using. I know exactly where you are. I know your location. I know the victims that you've already had on the phone all the way for months now off of your file that you have on the computer. Thank you for giving me access for that. I appreciate that you accepted that. Uh, how dare you try to steal money through Zelle and through crypto from grandmothers? You should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm going to use all this information against you. You have a chance now to actually help somebody, or I can just go do my work that I was going to do. Do you want to help people? Or do you want to steal from people? I would be pooping my pants right now if I were you. If you were just would have stayed on just for a second more, I would have turned your camera on. And people that you were scamming, I saw you scammed a few people, and it's freaking sickening, man. And we're going to call them and try to help them. We'll call him back. The number you're Yeah, he's done. So his text now number is done. Um, I had some very interesting things that we found. So I'm going to read the script back to you all right now. Not the script. This guy takes copious notes, by the way. In 10 days, he has hundreds of phone calls, probably. No money, no money. They're finding people and they're getting on there and they, they're getting on some of these accounts that have no money in it, which is crazy.
So they're going on and they're getting into PayPal accounts. Right now we're going to be calling a, a victims. We'll speak to speak to her bank. I'm going to call this lady up really quickly and make sure she's good. Hello, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know, I got access to some of their information on you and they were saying that you had like trust issues with them. It was like a PayPal. Yeah. Did you give, you didn't give them any money or anything like that, right? No. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, that was a scam. A hundred percent. I just wanted to call you and make sure that you did not get scammed and just reaffirm that your intuition was, was correct. So good, good for you. I hope this lady did not sell $2,000. Um, I wanted to call and let you know that you were talking to PayPal scammers, um, on the 29th, I believe. And they were trying to do something with like Zelle and Chase bank. It's a scam. I think they were trying to steal $2,000 from you. If you sent any money through Zelle, please call me back ASAP. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Crypto account made on 11.30 at 3 a.m. India time. Wow. Um, I'm going to call this person ASAP. Your call has been Dang forwarded it. to an automatic voice message system. I wanted to let you know that you were talking to internet scammers from PayPal. They were trying to get you to make a cryptocurrency account and something about $6,000 of Ethereum. Please call me back. It's a scam. You were being scammed. Call me back as soon as possible. I want to make sure you did not lose any money, but please call me back as soon as possible. I want to help you out. So everyone in the club and beyond, give us a couple of minutes and we're going to see you all on the members only stream. So it's club and above. Just remember that. I want to let y'all know. This was a very fun stream. I appreciate y'all. We will see you in just a couple of minutes. Y'all are amazing. This has been fun. Now, here is where we get into the crypto. During my YouTube members only stream, I run across the scammers text now. And he has a text message with what I perceive to be a potential victim. I called to warn them, but the scammers had already created three crypto wallets tied to their personal identities, credit cards, and bank accounts. In one wallet in particular, they had already moved over $5,000 to purchase Ethereum and Bitcoin. I'm not going to share the entire three-hour phone call, but there are some key points to understand here. The scammers access the victim's phone through AnyDesk, so we had to do the same. No, it came up. It must be downloaded because it says to open it. Okay. There should be that number, that nine-digit number. This is, I know, this is what the scammers do. It sounds crazy. This is going to be me. I'm hitting connect. So if you see something, if you could hit like accept or. It's a scammer payback. That is us. We'd like you to be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they had the victims open up accounts on Coinbase, Crypto.com, as well as Trust Wallet. So did they have you create a Coinbase account essentially? Yeah. Yes, okay. they do. So they probably had you on the Coinbase, had you put in like your debit card or your bank information into that to do the dummy yep, transaction. Yep. Right. Once the victims link the bank accounts, credit cards, and their identity to these wallets, they're screwed. The scammers will then change the passwords and remove the apps off of the victim's phone. And then they had you delete Coinbase after you did all of that? Yeah. Okay. We need to get you back on there to see if you can get the account details and information. Here's where it gets a little tricky. In order to bypass a two-factor authentication, the scammers needed access to the phone through any desk. They were able to see the verification codes that are sent via text and via email to be able to change the password of the victim's wallets. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just look at a new tab and see if all right passwords save passwords. Check oh, passwords. There we go, right here. We'll see if well since we know the password, we can just go into the actual thing now. Ah, let's please let this work. That's it. All right, so we're in. That's oh, it. Yeah. Oh, there's our money. Oh, oh there's your money. Woo! Let's okay. see if we can get this thing secured, though. Yeah. Because they're going to try to go back in. So I just want to ask y'all's permission, though, if we can try to log in onto the on our computer and um, get the password changed. I want to okay. make sure you're okay with it first because it's just going to be easier for us to try it. Yep. I appreciate your help. For sure. Boom. There we go. Okay. Woo. Let's, let's see if we can transfer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were gonna yeah, use this for to mix it probably yeah. too. Dang, they were gonna try to launder through your Bitcoin stuff on here. Some of your funds may be temporarily available until we yes. wait for a big transfer. Available to send in seven days. The Ethereum and the Bitcoin were both sold, but the money was still sitting in Coinbase. That was because the available balance was unable to be cashed out at the time. We kept monitoring, and after seven days, the funds were ready to go. I know you said that um, that you might have gotten an email, so that sounds exciting. That's a good good thing that's happening from Coinbase. Yeah. Okay, so if you can fire up that phone, please. Okay, go to Coinbase. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so we see the balance up here. Add cash slash cash out. Look at that. Woo! Oh, 
The USD amount, $4,753.07. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to hit cash out. Okay. And then it's going to go into your checking for free. So it's going to take one to three business days, right? Let's okay. just click on this okay. and make sure. Okay. This is your checking account, the PR whatever. Yep. Four, seven, five, three, point zero seven. Whoops. Seven. Let's see if this is going to work or if they're going to give us an issue. It says your cash is on its way. Ah. Uh. Okay. So if you see the history here, right? They bought yeah. <laughs> they bought your Bitcoin, they bought oh. your Ethereum. Um oh, we sold it and now we've withdrawn the funds. You can remove any desk I just got off of there. So okay. any desk is uninstalled. Yep. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna call this scammer up and I'm see if I can <laughs> <clears throat> let's see if we can get him. The Tex Now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. This is Pierogi with Scammer Payback. I just want to let you know I'm on the phone with Mr. Carl. You tried to steal some Ethereum from him through his accounts. And I just want to let you know officially that uh, that Ethereum and Bitcoin has been sold and put back into their accounts where it rightfully should be. So I think Mr. Carl and his wife have a couple words for you as well that you can listen to. Mr. Eric or Mr. Tyler, whichever your name is, I have to tell you, I have never in my life met anybody that I just like more. I don't know where you have the gall to steal from people that work hard for their money. And I just can't tell you, I don't hate you. But I have so much dislike and distaste for you right now. I, if I had you here right now, I literally would kick your ass up so high that you'd have to take your socks off to brush your teeth. <laughs> and I guess you wouldn't have to worry about that too much either, because by the time your ass got up to your teeth, I'd have your teeth busted out. I just want to say I, I have no faith in the Internet as far as that goes, but as far as you go, I have no, no love, no Thank trust, you. no anything. Oh, <laughs> it ran out. It ran out of time. I like it. I apologize, but I just, <laughs> I just don't even know what to say to the guy. I'm just so mad at him. I know. But I'm not going to put hate into it because I don't hate anybody. I understand. Well, we were lost. Yeah. We were absolutely sure. lost. You've been a blessing in our life, I tell you, and uh, it's hard to explain how we feel about what you guys have done. We never knew there was anybody out there that could even help you like that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you have the merriest of Christmases. I'll tell you what, it was pretty tight until just now. Of yeah. course. Well, Merry Christmas, yeah. and we'll talk here soon, okay? That's what I'm talking about, man. Scammer Payback is, is about what that conversation just was. It's about being there at the nick of time, getting information, and what can you do with that information? How can you change lives? How can you help people out? Mr. Carl and his wife, that is the heart of what Scammer Payback is. I don't take that lightly. I, don't, I take it very seriously. It's an incredible feeling to be able to have those conversations, and, and that could have been their entire savings. Who knows? I don't know. But um, I do know that the money did not go to a terrible scammer and we got the payback and we deleted some files and we downloaded some files and we saved some victims man thank you so much for watching the channel thank you so much for supporting everyone who's a member everyone who's on patreon this is what it goes towards this is the work that we're doing that we're really really proud of so thank you again not gonna be able to save everyone but we're gonna do everything that we can and uh, if we can save a few people it's gonna be uh, worth it. So thank you again for watching and uh, don't get scammed.